Now, any amount, take your right foot, and even if you can just lift it off the ground, begin the right, lift that right foot off the ground. For those who can, take it as high as you can. In other words, you and the white there, just do this. Have your, yeah, that's perfect. Take the hands in prayer position and feel like, okay, here I am, balancing. <laughs> or not. Just learning to fall is such an important thing in life because we're going to fall. It's a matter of how gracefully do you get back up and can you laugh about it? You know, we're going to fall. That's just the fact of life. We're all going to fall. I'm not, I'm not talking physically necessarily. We're all going to have times where it's like you fell off the wagon. Come back to both feet. Pick up that left foot. And again, just testing. And you know what? It, you know, if you feel like, whoa, this is enough, just beginning to lift that foot off the ground, that's great. Because the more you practice something, the better you'll get at it. And you'll lift that leg up. Folding the leg deeply is very important, so if you can fold it deeply. For those who can, raise your arms over your head. Uh huh. Now, don't be serious about it. Relax the eyes. Elongate, elongate. Feel your center. Now, go ahead and play. Go a little bit forward. Go a little bit back. Go a little bit to the side. Good, and back to mountain pose. Uh-huh. Do you feel how that is? And you know what you want to do? You want to do this every day. You want to do this when you're washing the dishes. You want to do this when you're hanging out in the grocery line. You want to practice balance. The more you get close to your center, and that this conversation of balance becomes a very intimate thing, the more you're going to have this really delicate place for yourself where there's no habit. So standing on both feet, and as you're standing on both feet, feel your bones. Feel the bones of the legs. Beautiful. Let's take the arms up again. And as you reach the arms, balancing evenly on both feet, don't bind the neck. Don't bind the neck, but reach the chest. Come on, extend those arms more. Extend those arms more. Lengthen the sides of your waist. Good, and hands back to prayer position. OK. So let's go into a little bit of a back bend. Spread your feet, hips distance apart. Now, why do we want to do back bends? Like Colleen said, so many of us are hunching our upper back. So many of us are collapsing our chest. And as you do that, when you collapse your chest, can you imagine if we had a really short ceiling? Would that be comfortable? So if you collapse your chest, your heart and your lungs literally feel compressed. And your heart and lungs have to work all of the time. So get that chest and open it up. Don't open it up superficially and make it hard, but open it up. Take your feet and plant them in the ground. Take your hands onto your chest and begin to lift the chest up to the ceiling. And as you lift the chest, ground the legs. And as you ground the legs, lighten the weight on your spine. Make the lower back light. Gaze over the tip of your nose and lift the chest. Go ahead, lift the chest. And open up that palace of the heart. And then come back to center. Beautiful. Most of us, when we do back bends, we tend to bend from one place. right? We push the pelvis forward, and we break in our lower back. And if, if you take something and you move it the same way all the time, it doesn't hold up that long. So what we need to start doing is bending in the upper back. So this is lift in the upper back. Now when you look at this back bend, he's grounding his feet, and it's an even arc. Right? He's not any more collapsed in the lower back. So the key is really to lift the upper chest, but not, see his pelvis is not pushed forward. This is what most of us do when we back bend. It, it hurts. It's, it's not the right position. You need to move the thighs back and then lift the upper chest. So many of us are hanging on our lower back. I want everyone right now, plant your feet again and lighten, just slowly. Begin to almost levitate the chest and feel literally like the heart is light. The heart is light and you're letting things into your heart and you're giving from your heart. Wouldn't that be a great thing? Do one more back bend. Strengthen those legs. Lift the chest. Take your thumbs in your armpit chest this time and wiggle. Explore. Wiggle a little bit. Plant those feet. Wiggle the chest and feel a lightness to your lower back. That's it. Don't straighten in the neck. The eyes are soft and you're growing. You're growing and blossoming the chest open and come back to center. Beautiful. And come right back to mountain pose. Come right back to mountain pose. Fantastic.